Oh my god, you have I feel so overwhelmed. It feels like all the bad things are happening at once over the past couple of days. I really wish I had someone to share the burden with, but I feel like I may never find a partner in this lifetime. I feel so helpless. Right now, it's not just about having someone who wants me. I feel like my existence in this world is kind of redundant. I'm already 36 years old and have no value in the dating market, no reproductive value either. My emotions aren't stable, my personality isn't great, and I don't have much money, so I can't provide economic value or emotional value, and not even appearance value. It's only natural that people will reject me. But how am I supposed to keep going? The 36 year old woman, Lee, holds a master's degree from a prestigious university. She often refers to herself as a high quality older single woman and frequently shares on social media the many difficulties she just just skip the last part I, there's there's no winning in this there's no satisfaction i would argue in people suffering even if it was arguably or at least partly their own doing so she encounters while seeking a partner. She also discusses her feelings of loneliness and the pressure from family and friends to get married. On June 17th, she broke down in tears, regretting that she missed the prime time for marriage due to her focus on her career. Now being single, she feels an overwhelming sense of anxiety. I would say this is about value of perspective. Society. Melee's tears convey a clear message to all young women. Do not miss the best time to get married. She reminds them that marriage is not only an emotional support, but also a guarantee and foundation for life, urging them not to repeat her mistakes. But this is also true for guys. Just because you might be able to do it later, that doesn't mean that you should. Mistakes. In her video, Mili regretfully stated, I used to give myself many excuses, thinking that marriage was not important and that career was the most important thing. But now it seems that these were just excuses I made to deceive myself. Mili's video resonated with many users on social media, inspiring many to reflect on themselves. In the comment section, some people said, when you're young, you always think there's plenty. I might be getting duped. You have time, but in an instant, you become an older single woman. Others remarked, I hope this reminds women chasing their careers that marriage is not a constraint, but true freedom. Some others comforted her, commenting, it's okay if you can't find someone, make peace with yourself and stop forcing yourself to look. Emotional counselor Wang Linguo posted a video on Douyin. Huh? Emotional counselor. Emotional counselor? Wang Linguo posted a video on Douyin on July 19th, sharing. If you're getting older and still single, you actually don't have to feel too bad about it. Who says getting married will definitely make you feel happy? Maybe saying single at this age is just saving you from suffering, so try to be more- Oh my god. Who's this Cope Master, Dr. Cope? Just, is that is that your big solution to life? For this day and and forever? You just gaslight yourself into saying that the things you want and things you desire are not the things you desire? You should be just happy with what you have? It'll be more optimistic. Situation prompts people to ponder. I say just go for what you want. That's gotta be more useful. Whether women's pursuit of a career has surpassed their desire for a happy life. In society, many people are so immersed in competition that they neglect the warmth of family and love. This also leads people to okay. evaluate the importance and significance of marriage. That's actually a very good point. I kind of wish society was more cooperative than competitive. Marriage. While a career is important, a healthy family and happy marriage are also worth striving for. Nowadays, more and more older single women are openly seeking marriage on social media. On July 19th, a 36 year old single woman, Miss Jo, posted a video on Doyen. I mean, but are they honest about this? Because, you know, it's easy to find the husband. Just go play some League of Legends. It's like, hey, boys, who wants to date? Something like that. So, I might wager that they are still possibly dishonest and they really redeem. They didn't really change their ways that much. Thank you, Doyen, for recommending my video to single people all over the country. Many people have commented, saying I'm brave to come to this platform alone to find a partner. Facing all the doubts, confusion, and ridicule. It's not about being brave, it's about being responsible for myself. Don't believe things like, if you build it, it will come. I know too many excellent women who are still single despite their age. I don't want to be an interesting celebrity, but if exposure brings me more dis- Yeah, that, that, yeah, that gives you PTSD. I don't want to be an interesting celebrity. If you build it, they definitely won't come. You need to market hard and sell, sell it. But if exposure brings me more disability and helps me find a partner faster, it's a blessing. So we all need to be a little braver. Happiness is something you have to seize, fight for, and strive for. Today, I came to the famous Shanghai Royal Park matchmaking corner to try my luck. It's 9am and there's so many people here. It's really hot and I see parents who are incredibly worried about finding partners for their children. Now this is a waste of time. Play some League of Legends. Today, I feel there are many excellent girls here. Or, wow, that, that's gonna be good too. Not that I play these things, but like there are a ton of guys play them. Many with PhDs who studied abroad. I feel like I'm out of luck. If such excellent people can't find someone, it's even harder for an ordinary person like me. This 36 year old intelligent beauty, Miss Jo, is 1.75 meters tall. She's publicly seeking marriage on social media, challenging herself to find a partner in 100 days and to get married in 200 days. She hopes to find a compatible partner who shares her pursuit of a spiritual life. The what, the, what does compatible mean? Spiritual life? Reality leaves her feeling helpless. Since June 1st, when she first posted her video, over 50 days have passed, and she has posted more than 40 episodes. Yet she has not found a suitable man. Will Miss Jo succeed? Another 36 year old single woman, Xiao Han. She did not find a suitable man. It's also publicly seeking marriage on Do What does that mean? Again, but her criteria. Also publicly seeking this just seems like an act. I think we're getting duped here. Marriage on Douyin, but her criteria might need potential partners to shy away. I only have four requirements for a partner. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Hopefully, this is objective. Partner. First, you must settle down in the Zhejiang Shanghai area. I don't accept what long distance relationships. I'm a Suzhou. Oh, and it's okay if you settle down nearby. If you're from another place, you need to buy a house and settle here. Second, you must be good looking. Please what? What? She just casually put that. Must buy a house. To buy a house and settle here. Second, you're from another place. You need to buy a house and settle here. Second, you must be good looking. Okay, just casually have a house. Okay. Please enter the eye and no shorter than one point seven. Sure. Meters. Third, you need a income with an annual salary of no less than three hundred thousand yuan before or after taxes. Which... Three hundred thousand. Proves your ability to earn a living. Fourth, we need a betrothal gift for marriage, but I'll match whatever you give as a dowry. Can you meet these four requirements? Okay. Betrothal gift for marriage, but I'll match for taxes, which proves your. You need a income with an annual salary. I mean, the the possible bad part. Second, you must be good looking. Please enter. I am no shorter than one point seven. Okay, I mean, many women might not admit to this, but like, they, they, they kind of follow this. 
So, I mean, the, the problem is the 300,000 yuan, which is it's got to be way above the average for China and having a house, right? Yeah. I mean, else you would have to admit that you were deluded all this time. And you were calling yourself high-quality woman mm, for questionable reasons. I mean, imagine if, like, every single college graduate in the West just called themselves high-quality men and high-quality women. How, how lame is that? What? You just don't call yourself that, okay? Burn incomes? Damn. The thing is, you providing materially is a bonus, but you being demanding materially is not. Women over 35 as luxury items are rarely bought. Besides, many women think they're luxury items when they aren't. Mm. Which is a real issue. With a growing number of older single women, parents are often the most anxious. They push for marriage because they hope their children will settle down early and have a companion to care for them. Parents think that marrying someone with decent qualities is enough. Love is too fleeting. As long as the person has no bad habits and is reliable, that's sufficient. I think it's like, who do you think you are? It's just a story you tell yourself. I mean, many people tend to have a high opinion of themselves, unless they happen to be in a bad place in life. But that is not reality. I mean, the best way to know reality is just to. Just look at what you did yesterday, right? I mean, what's gonna be that? Like, oh yeah, maybe I worked a little, watched some TV, and that's it. That's who you are. And nothing else. Maybe like watch some, uh, maybe play some games, and uh, went to social media. And uh, that's that. Not not the story you tell yourself. Just 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 some guy who is probably having a boring life, <laughs> or maybe others would say that you have a good boring life. That's sufficient. However, for educated women, marriage cannot just be settled for, and their unwillingness to settle gradually turns them into older single women. Their view of marriage. Differs significantly from the previous generation, with the biggest change being their increased independence and emphasis on spiritual needs. In the matchmaking, spiritual needs? I've yet to see any spiritual needs mentioned yet. I mean, at all. Independence and emphasis on spiritual needs. In the matchmaking group for those aged 25 to 40 in China, women far outnumber men. This seemingly counterintuitive outcome is hard to believe. But <laughs> Does that guy have the money? After verifying through multiple online channels, the data on the male to female ratio in matchmaking across major cities is approximately 1 to 9. At the Wangsong Academy, what? Is approximately 1 to 9. At the Wangsong Academy, Academy matchmaking corner in Hangzhou, a mother forcibly dragged her 35-year-old daughter to a matchmaking event. The daughter reluctantly said, I don't want to go. The mother ignored her, dragging her to an older man who was looking for a partner for his son. Upon hearing that the man was born in 1979, 13 years older than her, had a house but no car, and was a local from Hangzhou, the daughter's face showed disinterest. This unquiet woman continued. Have a house but no car? is like, okay, not interested. Continued to visit the matchmaking corner several more times, hoping to find a suitable partner. It's Saturday again, and I'm at the Wangsong Academy matchmaking corner in Hangzhou. It's crowded with people seeking love, some for their children, others for themselves. I found a place to stand and waited for my fate to come. People come and go, and occasionally older men and women come up to talk to me. Hi, Hi everyone. It just seems like a total waste of time, by the way. I mean, maybe on the level of. Uh, using the matchmaking thingies online, but still. Especially because of how deluded people are, seemingly. Those who go there. Hi everyone, let me introduce myself. I'm from Luan, Hanwei, born in 1989. Year of the Snake. The Year of the Snake, I'm still single. I'm looking for someone to spend the rest of my life with. Although I'm already 35, I still have a girlish heart and yearn for beautiful love. Many say marriage is about finding someone to live with, and over time it becomes more about kinship. Some say don't set your standards too high, and just find somebody to get by with. I've been weighing these options. Many who have been through marriage say love is what's important. What's important is that the person is good to you and responsible. A stable life is all you need. Others say you should marry someone you love deeply, because marriage will bring many challenges you never considered before. And if you don't love them enough, you'll become unhappy, bitter, or even depressed. Since I've never been married, I really don't know which path to take. She just said nothing. Has an overflow of older single women because they take the top criteria for men as a minimum standard. At the matchmaking corner in Wansong Academy, you find that 90% of the profiles belong to women in their 30s, and nearly 70% of them are in their 30s. The consistent requirements are men must be at least 1.75 meters tall, look decent, be within five years of their age, have at least a bachelor's degree, own a fully paid house and a car in Hanzhou, earn at least 300,000 yuan a year, have no bad habits, and be attentive, fit, and caring. I asked a girl nearby if these standards were too high. She said, Without money, how can you support a family? Without a car, how do you get around? Without a house, where will you live? All the girls here have the same standards. If I set my standards lower, I'll be outshone by others. But they're just stupid. All the girls here have the same standards. If I mean, your standards are actually the standards of single women. If I set my standards lower, I'll be outshone by others. But if everyone has such high standards, who can end up with a partner? In Hanzo, men who meet these criteria are scarce and snapped up quickly. Why would they come to a matchmaking corner? Even though the women here are yeah. decent, with houses, cars, and savings, the men have... This guy's spitting fire. These two. What advantages do older single women have? Quality men have a broad choice, and unless a woman is young, good-looking, and... 
But also, like, it, it's kind of dumb because, like, let's say that you, someone sets their standards over there. Like, okay, yeah, I'm going to match them. Like, they, they set it over there. But, like, they, they, they're just both in the sky, right? I mean, you have to look at the people who are, in the, the context of matchmaking corner, who are actually finding partners, I suppose. It has standout advantages. Why would a man choose her? In a big city matchmaking market, especially in parks with clear pricing for matchmaking, it has become a place for... Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Because, like, you know, th this woman goes home and, like, oh my god, I'm such a high-quality woman. And, like, what did you do? Like, you looked at your phone all day and, like, stand stood at the matchmaking corner and no one wanted you? It's for bargaining. Currently, the marriage agency's registrations also show more women and fewer men, with women generally being older. This is similar to matchmaking in parts, where appearance, work, education, and family background are all considered. Perhaps these conditions are part of what constitutes love. A traditional Chinese custom says a man should get married on coming of age, and so should a woman. This has persisted for thousands of years, especially for women. Yeah, that's a good point. However, this traditional custom began to break down after the 20th century. I would say that that probably would make make our lives better. Many people believe that due to the long-term implementation of the one-child policy and the preference for boys over girls, there has always been a situation in China where there are more men than women. According to authoritative data from demographers, the gender ratio in China is 117 to 100. But it's not just that. With 30 to 40 million more males than females. Official data also shows that in 2021, the number of single people over the age of 15 in China reached a record high of 239 million. The number of marriage registrations hit a historic low in 2022. A survey by the Chinese Communist Youth League in 2021 of about 2,900 unmarried urban young people found that 44% of women do not plan to get married. Many women, after giving up on marriage, form a stable single life. On Chinese social media, if women in their 30s or 40s post with tags like no marriage, no children, they often receive thousands of likes or more. Uh -huh. No love by the other women coopers. It's important to understand that leftover women are not single because they can't get married, but because they refuse to marry for the sake of marriage. Professor Su Xiao. You can only claim that you're happy single if you're not looking for a partner at all. If you if you're even if like you're possibly the, the dream guy would show up or po dream partner would show up and you would say no. Else you're coping. Xu Xiaoling from the University of California, Davis, believes that this choice is related to women's educational levels. She said, women with a college education become more determined to assert their rights and social status. Well-educated women find it increasingly difficult to find suitable men who share the same views on women's rights. She also said, there's an excess of highly educated women, but a shortage of highly educated men. Many leftover women have high standards, viewing many men as unambitious or lacking prospects. They believe that their knowledge and talents require men who are financially secure, good-looking, and high of character. However, in reality, most men are ordinary and high- What? Many men as unambitious or lacking prospects. They believe- Unambitious? I mean, they might be ambitious, but like, they don't have the opportunities, uh, really. They believe that their knowledge and talents require men who are financially secure, good-looking, and high of character. However, in reality, most men are ordinary and high-quality men have a wide range of choices and often marry and have children early. Many Chinese men often compare a woman's youth to fruit. The fresher the fruit, the more buyers it attracts. As the fruit sits and withers, its price drops. Eventually, even at a big discount, it still may not sell. This is the current situation of leftover women. A leftover woman would complain, there are no good men in the world. I haven't met any man who meets my standards. However, the increase in the number of leftover women in Chinese society will inevitably lead to a rise in leftover men. These women often live in their own fantasy, often have high-paying jobs, and are economically independent, allowing them the option to remain single. On the contrary, leftover men are different. First, there is a large absolute surplus of marriageable men, and they are often at a disadvantage. Their main problems are economic and cultural disadvantages, social exclusion, and discrimination. A deeper phenomenon is the current instability in China's employment situation, which makes men afraid to get married. Without a stable economic foundation, they cannot afford to start a family. This marginalized social group is likely to bring significant negative impacts on society. If there's a sudden event in society, such as a civil dispute, a conflict between officials and citizens, or mass unemployment, these leftover men could be the main force behind serious social conflicts. In fact, in recent years, these leftover men have been linked to many instances of mass violence in society. Damn. I wonder if the screwed ratio, screwed uh, sex ratio has anything to do with it, because, for example, I, I know of stories of, of Europe, and you know, there's just a bunch of guys died in the war, and, uh, the the relationship marketplace did change in a, in a great way that even like having a guy was just a, just a luxury just having a guy for yourself is, is a mega luxury and uh know that some guys end up with uh, multiple women and uh and if you just have like a monogamous relationship that's like it's a luxury and some many many women just might just die alone well in very rough times so women are kind of super deluded because they're uh, like six guys for five women. So that's not a good ratio. And uh, China definitely uh, fucked up. But that doesn't mean that uh, guys are like magicians and uh, they can just uh, create money from thin air.